Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Dallas, and in today's lesson I'm going to do a, a little video on the area of regular polygons. Uh, first of all, what is a regular polygon? A regular polygon is a polygon with all sides congruent and all angles congruent. Uh, you might see this as uh, all sides are equilateral and all angles are equiangular. It means the same thing. Um, so all sides congruent and all angles congruent. That's the definition of a regular polygon. So I have a regular uh, triangle right here. Um, this is also known as an equilateral triangle. Uh, notice all the sides are congruent to each other, and since all the sides are congruent, we have all the angles are also going to be congruent to each other as well. So 60, 60, and 60. Uh, this is a regular quadrilateral, otherwise known as a square. All sides are congruent, and all angles here are 90 degrees. Um, right here, uh, regular pentagon. Again, all sides are congruent, and all the interior angles are 108 degrees. And this is a regular hexagon. Uh, again, all sides are congruent to each other, and all these interior angles are 120 degrees. Um, you can go up to as many sides as you can imagine. I'm just focusing on uh, the regular triangle all the way up to the regular hexagon. So again, regular polygon, all sides are congruent, and all angles are congruent. So here we go. Um, there are two parts of regular polygons that you need to know about uh, before you can find the area of regular polygons. First one is the apothem, not an opossum. The apothem. There's a th sound in the middle. So uh, an apothem is a perpendicular segment from the center of the polygon to the side of the polygon. I have an example of an apothem right here. From the center of the polygon, and it makes a, a 90 degree angle with the side. So perpendicular means it, it makes a 90 degree angle so where it, inter where it intersects. So this apothem here is making a 90 degree angle with this whole side right here. So we know this is a 90 degree angle right there. Uh, an apothem also does something else that's very important. It bisects sides on regular polygons. So let's say all the sides on this pentagon were 20. If all the sides were 20, but the apothem is going to bisect that side, then this segment right here is 10, and this segment right here is 10. This is very important uh, when dealing with uh, the apothem and finding the area of, of regular polygons. Um, so again, so an apothem uh, makes a 90 degree angle from the center, it's a segment from the center to a side, makes a 90 degree angle to the side. It also will bisect that side whenever we're talking about regular polygons. Uh, we also have a radius, let me change colors here. Uh, a radius uh, is a segment from the center of the polygon to the vertex. So notice the center uh, to the vertex, the vertex is one of the corners on, uh, on a polygon, so on this pentagon it's this corner right here. So if we look at the apothem and the radius, notice they make a right triangle. That is very important here. So we'll come back to that one, I think, on uh, my second video and my third video, so part two and part three at least. Um, but going back to radius, uh, radius, where have you heard of radius before? We've heard about it on a circle. So I have a circle right here, and notice the five points of the pentagon are touching the circle. So if I were to draw anything, a radius anywhere on here, the radius goes from the center of the circle and touches the edge of the circle. Well, the only place this happens on uh, this pentagon here, it's only happening on the vertices of this pentagon. So the radius, these are all radiuses or radii. Radii is radius plural. So the radius is the only segment that when drawn from the center and goes to uh, the corner uh, or the vertex of the polygon where it would touch the circle if the circle's uh, just big enough to touch uh, the points on this polygon. So just to think here. So you might, that might help you remember what a radius is or you just might remember it goes from the center of a polygon and touches one of the vertices. So apothem and radius, you need to know this, mainly for the second and third videos I'm going to do here. I'm going to do two example problems dealing with area of regular polygons. The equation for area of regular polygons is one half uh, apothem times perimeter. Apothem is lowercase a, whereas area is going to end up being capital A. So area is one half apothem times perimeter. So a is the apothem, p is the perimeter of the shape of the polygon. So here we go. Example one. Find the area of the regular pentagon with a side length of 12 centimeters and an apothem of 5 centimeters. So right now I'm giving you the side length here is 12 and I'm giving you the apothem is 5. Well, we have the equation, area is one-half apothem times perimeter. Well, right now, 
this is the apothem. The apothem is the segment from the center. It makes a 90 degree angle with the side. So right now, we know the apothem is 5 centimeters. But I do not know the perimeter just yet. Well, this is a regular pentagon, so every side here would have to be 12 as well. So we can add up all the sides, or take 12 times the number of sides, and 12 times 5 in this case would be 60 centimeters. So if I take 1 half times 5 times 60, that gives us 150 centimeters, centimeters, this would be centimeters squared. So the area here is 150 centimeters squared of this uh, regular polygon. So that's the idea here. You need the apothem, you need to know the perimeter of the uh, polygon, you plug it into the equation here, and you can find the area of this polygon in this case, or of any polygon. I've got one more example here, and now I'm going to call it quits on this video. It says find the apothem of the regular hexagon given the area of 84 feet squared and a side length of 7 feet. So my goal here is to find the apothem. I don't know what this guy is right now. So I've got a big old question mark right there. Um, let's see here. I've got the equation. I know the equation. Area is 1 half apothem times perimeter. Um, what do I know right now? Well, I know the area is 84 feet squared. And then I have 1 half. I don't know the apothem, so I'm going to leave this as an A for apothem, and the perimeter. I know side length is 7, and I don't have perimeter, but this is a regular hexagon, so again, I know all these sides here are congruent to each other. So this is 7, this is 7, 7 feet, 7 feet, 7 feet, and 7 feet. Well, 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7, plus 7 or 7 times 6 sides, gives me a perimeter of 42 feet. So can I simplify this to find the apothem? This is how you solve these problems. If you're ever given the area, you've got to plug in the area into the area equation, plug in the variables that you know, and then you're going to solve this problem backwards. Well, 84 is going to stay the same. I cannot simplify that. But I do know that 1 half times 42 is 21. So I have now 21, and then A is by itself, so 84 equals 21A. Again, I just combined 1 half and 42, and I got 21. My goal is to isolate the A, isolate the apothem here. To do that, I'm going to divide by 21. Well, that's going to cancel out here, and I'm going to have A, the apothem, equals, well, 84 divided by 21 is 4. So the apothem here is 4 feet. Sorry I'm not being very picky on the, uh, the units in here. Uh, I just didn't, don't want to do it right now. Uh, but the apothem here would be 4 feet. So I gave you an example of if you're given a side length and a apothem, and you can plug it into the equation here. I also uh, had you solve it backwards. If I gave you the area, I gave you one of the dimensions, and you had to backtrack and find the apothem. So this is the first video. I've got two more at least that are going to come on here, maybe more. Uh, but I hope this helps you understand the basics behind the equation and how to find the area of regular polygons. Have a good day.